Good day everyone! This is a tutorial in using PPSIS as a student. To know more, let's get started. There are two ways of searching the uh, PPSIS or the student's portal. First is to go to the PUP website. Click here. And now you'll see this website. Upon seeing this, click the icon here which says Show Services Menu. And then click student. Now look for the PUP student portal. And now you're in the SIS. The second one is to type in the keywords PUP SIS. First uh, click the first result. And now you're in the SIS. We are now in the PUP SIS. As you can see in the screen, there is two options. This is for student and for faculty. But this is a tutorial for student. We will now go click student. And now this is the login page for the PUP SIS or the student portal. Make sure that you have your student number, your birth date, your password or type priority password for new students, and then go click sign in. Let me input here. Once you're done inputting your uh, credentials or your information, go click sign in. And now, we're in the SIS. In case you forgot your password and cannot sign in, you can click this I forgot my password option and then the system will require you to input your email address. Make sure to input the correct one. When you're done, then click the request new password. After this, the system will send you an email which contains your new password. This typically looks like this. Make sure to take note of that and now click sign in. Now input your student number, your birth date, and the new password. Then click sign in. Let's now go to PUP SIS. As you can see in the screen, there is a tab for Home, Enrollment, Accounts, Schedule, Grades, and Forms. Uh, let's now go to Home first. In the Home section, there are two parts. The first part is where the important notices um, and announcements located at. It consists first of your name and your student number, forms, and inbox. Make sure to check it from time to time as there are new announcements coming in. The second part is the important part of the home section. This is the general guidelines for implementation of RA 10931 or the Universal Access to Quality Tertiary Education in PUP. This is a guideline that every PUP should know. As we all enjoy the free education benefits, make sure to read this tomorrow. Let's now go to the enrollment section. In the enrollment section, we can see the text registration as 2223 first semester, meaning it is showing us what term and semester we are currently in. Just want to clarify that as 2223 means school year 2022 to 2023. Next to that is the client advisory. Client advisory is designated or primarily for the paying students who may not or no longer eligible for the Free Higher Education Act. Next to that is the opt-out waiver or the voluntary contribution for the students. To know further of this waiver, you may download the form and read its contents. Next to that is the status and section. In the status, there is a warning here. In my case, it is because of a subject that do not have paid yet. This is a reminder that warning can appear for several reasons. And to know more about this concern, you may contact your department head or email the sisconcerns at pup.edu.ph. Next to that is the section which I am currently in. And below that is the notification that I am qualified for the Free Higher Education Act. And lastly is the enrollment section. 
As you can see in the screen, online enrollment is not yet open. However, once it opens, there will be a button here in which we can access the enrollment. And after that, we can download our certificate of registration. To further know the dates of the opening of the online enrollment, you may check the PUP website or PUP page. Now let's go to the accounts. In this section, you will see the transparency report of your payment. You can check your transaction through the school year, semester, scholarship grants if any, OR dates, OR numbers, assessments, payments, and balances. Now, if you want to check the statement of account of the certain semester, then you can check it through the semester table. Just choose what semester you want to check in. So for example, I want to check the first semester, then click the first semester, and you will be redirected to this page. Um, as you can see in the first part, this is my details, the subjects that I've enrolled in the first semester, my tuition fee, the description of my transaction, and lastly is the total. Now, if you're done, you can click back. Now, if you're a paying student, then this is the page where you will check if your payment has already been updated or um, reflected to the system. Make sure to check it from time to time. Let's now go to the schedule. So in this section, this is where you will see your schedule in the class. However, as the online enrollment is not yet open, then there's no schedule for now. This schedule is typically be given after you complete the um, enrollment. However, I will be providing you the actual image of the schedule. It's the same. It has the number, subject code, description, lecture, laboratory, units, and schedule with the name of your professor. So make sure to check it after you enroll. Let's now go to the grades. So I think this section is the most visited part in the PUP SIS and the main reason why we check the students portal is because we can check our performance and grades here. So let me give you our recent semester as the example. So this is school year 21-22, summer semester. So below that is the status which is the admission status for continuing, scholastic status as regular, course code and description, and then the GPA, which excludes the NSTP and subjects with non-numeric ratings. So below that is the table for subjects, and here is the number of subjects, which is 1, subject code, which is the ICTE10053, the description of the subject, which is the OJT2 for Junior Programmer 1 and 2, the faculty name, which is the name of the professor, units, the section code or section, final grade and grade status. So throughout your year in the PUP, this is the page where you will be checking your performance. As well as this is, became the basis whether you are qualified to the President's Mister or Dean's Mister. Now if you want to see what subjects you need to enroll for or what subjects you've already done, then you can check the curriculum evaluation. So in this evaluation, you can see your subject from first year to third year or fourth year. So as an example, this is the subject that I've already taken when I was in first year, and this is all written in blue. If it is written in blue, it means that the subject is already done and it is completed. However, if it is written in green like this, it means that it is not done or you've not enrolled to it yet. So if you want to advance study, then this is the subject that you need to search for. When you're done, when you're done looking, then you can click X. And that's all for the grade section. Let's now go to the last section in this student portal, which is the forms. In this section, we will be seeing the um, different forms that we've already seen in the previous sections. Um, first of that is the PUP Internship Memorandum of Agreement, which can be seen in the home. And the second is the opt-out waiver or voluntary contribution for students, which can be seen in the enrollment. So if you want to download the forms immediately, then you can go to forms. Please check this um, section from time to time as there may be new files that the school will be provided for the students.
Let's now go click this icon. So this icon consists of three options. New profile, change password, and sign up. Let's now go to profile first. This profile contains your personal data. It has your student number, your name, gender, date of birth, place of birth, mobile number, email address, residential address, permanent address, and name of spouse if married. Please make sure that everything you put in here is true and correct because this is auto-generated on your COR or the Certificate of Registration. Okay, once you've done inputted or editing this, you may now click the Save. Let's now go to Change Password. This Change Password um, allows you to secure your password. Please input your old password here or if you're new student, the temporary password. Then your new password and here as well. Make sure that the new password and confirmed password are the same. And once you've done, click Change Password. If you open again the SIS or the PUP SIS, you may now use the new password. And after that is the sign out. Please remember that every time you use the PUP SIS, you sign out or log out. It is due to privacy or security reasons. And that's all for the PUP SIS. Thank you for listening. That's all for this tutorial. See you next time!